And hello everyone. Welcome back to Show and Tell. What the hell? And today, a very special figure here. Uh, let me bust him out on package. Beautiful, beautiful looking card. Oh, can y'all hear that? That's the train. That's my train. Here we are, the new Mego classic 8-inch figure, Gorn, or THE Gorn, either way. Um, yeah, these are very nice. I've been waiting for this figure for quite a while. And, um, well, I'm going to keep this one back over here so I can show you. Because I've actually, I've had this one for a while, and I was debating whether I should open it or not to see how difficult it was going to find or how difficult it was going to be to get another one. Uh, luckily, I stumbled upon a, another Gorn at my local Target. Now, these are Mego 8-inch uh, figures that are exclusive to Target. And this is an example of a really good Mego figure. We never did quite get a Gorn from Mego that was um, screen accurate. Instead, we got one that... Uh, I think reused the Spider-Man lizard head, and it was red for some reason. Um, but see, back in the day, figures could just have some sort of weird uh, representation. Look, I'm just... Uh, here, let me give you a, an example. <clears throat> this guy was a uh, walrus man from Star Wars. Didn't look any, like anything like this in the movie, but this is the one I saw more often because I always had this toy with me. But... Uh, that was the case with a lot of figures back then. You get some weird version or some weird representation of the character because the companies, the toy companies, would get, like, early designs or... But I think in Mego's case, it was just a, um... I don't know, maybe it was just a lazy thing. But now we got something that's awesome looking. We got... And look at, look at, look at the cabs right there. He works out. Um, it's a couple of detail right here. Um, he's got a little blaster here, even though you don't see that on the show. A little communicator, so you can communicate with his, uh, Gorn buddies. And, um, this is from one of the more notable and famous episodes of Star Trek, where you see Captain Picard facing off against the Gorn. So, um, very excited. He's a very iconic Star Trek character be it cheesy but I wanted to take the time to bust out another figure that is not part of the line but well it, technically it is and technically it isn't but here's a Kirk figure that I actually customized lazy fast customization this was from a Sulu body and this is from the uh, Captain Kirk Spock mirror universe head uh, two pack, um, just a simple boil and pop, and the boil and pop technique, of course, is putting the figure in boiling water or just very hot water, and seeing what you can do to remove the head and put another one, replace it. Simple swap. Cause I wanted a uh, Kirk, and a lot of these Mego figures are going at a real sweet price here. Uh, now these I got, I believe. I mean, I always wait for the specials. Now. Um, I hope they come up with a Kirk. I hope they come up with a Kirk figure. Um, and check out that head. <laughs> Half of it kind of looks like uh, Captain Kirk. And sometimes it looks like Casey, Casey Kasem for some reason. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying these. I, I uh, wanted to get these two together. I'd like to... It, I wish they had a two-pack. That would have been a very... That would have been a better two-pack than what we... That we're seeing recently uh, with some of the other figures. And... I don't want to sound too sour. But I've been eating a lot of grapefruit. No. Um, I think Mego... It's great to have Mego doing these figures. It's great to have them readily available at your local Target. But this is a prime example of the characters that people really want. I mean, I'd like to get another uh, Gorn. I'm assuming that other Gorn look like this. 
I've always thought there's like an army of Gorn. Army builders are always fun. But instead, we're getting a bunch of characters that... We're getting characters from Happy Days, and who else cares? I mean, what are, aside from the Fonz, what other characters do you want from Happy Days, really? Uh, they put out Peg Bundy, but they didn't put out an Al Bundy. Uh, they put out uh, a Kelly Bundy. Was it Kelly? But they didn't put out a Bud Bundy. Not yet, at least. Maybe they're just waiting, but I think with with a when you're testing out new figures i they're calling them i'm calling them new because <clears throat> at a place like target you it's 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 a big risk and i think seeing that they're in the toy aisle they're in the toy next to i don't know like wrestlers or marvel legends a lot of the people don't catch these references a lot of these people don't catch these uh not references but a lot of these characters they don't know who these characters are they don't know who tootie is they don't know who uh who else did i see in there like was it captain action or whatever uh but the gorn is iconic and if anything else it just looks like a badass little toy to have around you know and i think that was the mindset and that's why they were so popular in the 70s because not only did they put out gorn but they put out some other aliens they figured hey you know let's put out some wacky looking aliens to go along with your star trek toys kids didn't care they just thought it was cool so they approached that with the same mindset. Let's get the Gorn. Let's get Frankenstein. Let's get more Draculas. Let's get more werewolf people of Mexico. Uh, let's get some uh, cool-looking characters. Uh, let's get more Captain Kirks. There, there isn't even a Captain Kirk in out in uniform, and uh, that is what uh, kind of bugs me. And I guess like the fact that you can get a Sulu, a, a screen accurate looking Sulu, a very, very nice looking face, um, for the hardcore Mego collectors is good. But that 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 group is very small. So I don't know. I mean, what figures would you guys like to see in lieu of the ones that we're getting in Target? Because I think this is a great example of a figure that we need we still haven't even gotten a spock yet wait i think there was supposed to be a spock coming out but you know just a regular kirk and spock come on how about star wars what do we got a star wars license with Mego? finally you know let's get creative with that i don't know i mean there's i'd like to see all the universal monsters i'd like to see uh more weird wacky aliens i'd like to see some stuff like um I don't know, some, uh, like, if you want to get, how about a Mr. T? How about a Mr. T? You know, you want to get retro, sorry, I got, like, gum in my mouth, I apologize, what rudeness. I do like the Batman, and we're going to go into Batman later. I do like the guy, but they don't got an 8-inch Batman. How about an 8-inch Batman, new 8-inch Batman, uh, at a Target that you can buy? Um, remake some of the old ones, like Spider-Man. I don't know. Venom. You know, do the stuff that's coming out in the movies right now. But, um, yeah, Gorn is just, I said, it's an example of what we want more of. And I say we, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to speak for everyone here, but I want more of Gorn. I want more Frankensteins, Draculas. I already said all this. But, Creature from the Black Lagoon, come on. Uh, more monsters. I think that things that are more attractive to people. Um, look, as much as I love Mego figures, I'm not going to go and buy every single one of them. But I want you to make me want to buy every single one of them. I want to collect them all. Um, if we got a whole line of Star Trek aliens, if we got a Gorn and Dorians, uh, if we got uh, maybe even some of the newer ones like Cardassians or Ferengis, uh, that'd be great. Have a whole lineup of different Star Trek aliens. Have some display sets. You know, have some... Uh, Mego dioramas, which I really look forward to building one. I'm going to be building a diorama for these two guys here and to have them uh, throw a rock at Kirk. Oh, that hurts. Anyway, folks, so I just wanted to do a quick little review on this figure. I would highly recommend it. If you go, uh, go seek this guy out. It's worth the buy if you find him online on um, eBay or whatever. You know, I wouldn't have minded paying uh, 25 bucks for this. It's a great 8-inch figure. It's the, the joints are really nice and tight, solid, um, very leather-like bracers over here. Uh, very cool to get a Star Trek character. Um, what other Star Trek characters would you guys like to see? Maybe the Salt Vampire. Um, 
you know, maybe, um, I don't know, uh, maybe Captain Pike in that little chair that he was sitting in. Uh, I don't know, guys, but um, let me know because uh, I'm kind of all out of ideas for this. But thanks again for watching. Take care until next time.